And I also wanted to ask you about the biology of belief. Um, you don't completely deny the importance of allopathic medicine, uh, correct? Yes, but I, I can tell you I have a distinct viewpoint, a distinct belief. Mm -hmm. I believe that when it comes to trauma, mm -hmm. physical trauma, modern allopathic medicine does miracles. I, I got uh, in an accident and my leg is broken. I'm not calling a chiropractor. I'm not going to cause a massage therapist. I don't care about that. I need a doctor. Why? Doctors know how to physically, like, physically adjust, fix, replace parts on the body, do all that stuff. Now I say, but what about chronic diseases, cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's, cardiovascular disease? I go, no, don't deal with that. <laughs> Because they are not using the modern understanding of epigenetics and quantum physics, which give us a different way of dealing with these issues. And they use pharmaceutical drugs. And pharmaceutical drugs are one of the biggest problems on this planet. Pharmaceutical drugs don't heal people. They just keep them steady enough so you keep buying more drugs. <laughs> if the drugs healed you, then it would be bad for business because you buy the drug once. You go, oh, I never need the drug again. I go, yeah, that's not their interest. So while they actually do have drugs that can heal people, they're not on the market. Only because if I sell you a drug that I heal you, you're not coming back to buy a drug again. So people unfortunately get on drugs and they get on, well, how long should I take these drugs? It's like, well, take them forever. It's like, oh my God, <laughs> this is a drug dealer and you just, you're buying drugs forever. It's like, you don't need these drugs. These drugs are causing more problem than they're helping. That that level of medicine is one of the leading causes of death in the United States. Pharmaceutical drugs kill 300,000 people a year. Not illegal drugs. That's only like 20,000, 30,000, even at the most. Ten times as many people are dying from prescription drugs. I go, drugs are drugs. When you understand the new biology, it's consciousness. <laughs> drugs not necessary in healing when you understand the power of consciousness and then i go back and i say quantum physics most valid science on the planet says the whole experience is consciousness change your consciousness you change your experience so the idea is do i need pharmaceutical drugs i go god no <laughs> uh, uh you know that is not a way of doing it healing with energy and consciousness is the way of controlling your biology I, I could signal you with a chemical, or I could signal you with vibration. And the answer is the biological system would by far have a preference for the vibrational energy because it's so profoundly fast and so you know, significantly efficient that if your life depends on getting a signal, and the cell's, the cell's life does, then there, there's no comparison between the two. Chemicals work, but not anywhere as effectively or as efficiently as energy healing. And this is why uh, we're moving from an allopathic chemical drug-related medicine into energy medicine, because it's now been recognized that energy, which includes thought as well, is profoundly more effective in healing than our chemicals.